Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at the problem of storing users' property settings in App Developer. Let's say you've created an App Developer project and you've exposed some properties to the user. The settings or the values that are inside those properties are baked in so that whenever you load the project those property values will be restored. So whatever the user chooses in their program, let's say it be a different comport setting or a different set up of uh, a specific component, your default values will always be loaded in. And you might not want that to happen. You might want the user's values to stick um, and be reloaded. So to help with this, uh, we've created a um, a new component called the property manager. It's available under storage, or if you're in embedded, it's available under um, runtime and metrics tools, I believe. So property manager. It has a few properties itself. It basically asks, where do you want um, we're, we're going to store the, the property settings in a file. Where do you want this file to be? Dollar source dir is the project directory itself, or you could specify somewhere a bit more out of the way. Uh, the file name, uh, the default is config.conf, uh, but obviously you can change this as you need to. And then we have the options to do we show dialogues on load and on save? And at the moment, these are set to yes. Um, to warn the user when they're going to overwrite their settings by loading or overwrite the stored settings by saving. So an easy and manual way of doing this. Let's start with a component. So let's start with a linear slide. At the moment it's set to be between 0 and 100. And what we want to do is we want to expose the lower bound and the upper bound. So now in our project we have two properties that would be available to the user. And if we export it now then these would have the value 0 and 100. Now the user would be able to change them but whenever they reloaded the project they would always revert back or 0 or 100, the values that you had when you exported. So a very simple way of um, doing this, let me just save this project. So this is properties manual. Um, it's to create two buttons. So we'll have a control with a, a switch and this switch will be called switch load and in the off label we'll say load and we'll copy that and create a switch save maybe we'll just resize them slightly okay so in our program, the first thing we want to do is discover which properties we want to be able to load and save. So our property manager has um, a, a component macro called register property. And we need to call this for every property that we want to be able to load and save. Now, if I add some quotes, and then use the drop down at the end of the field, you can see all the properties that are exposed in your component are available here. So if we take the first one, which is linear slider one, base 2D gauge, D lower bound, and we drag that in between our quotes, then that registers that first property as being a loading and saved value. If we repeat for the second one, 
Again, we'll just start with some quotes. This time we want the second one, we'll just drag that in. So now we've registered the two properties. We then would have our main program loop. So we'll create uh, an infinite loop. And we would check the state of both of the switches as part of our loop. So switch load, get state. If the switch is pressed, then make sure the switch is unpressed and call the load function. And then the same for save. If switch save, get state, then switch save, set state to zero, and this time we'll save. Okay. So now, can we do? Well the project when we open it it'll still load with the values of 0 and 100 because those are the values that we have when we export it. But let's see what happens when we run this. So the project's running, we we'll set this to 0 and 50. We can now save those settings, we get a dialog to say are you sure? You want to save? Yes. Now, let's say we've closed the project, uh, we've come back to it, we've reloaded it, and our default values are back in. Now when we run the project, we can load. Yes, I'm sure I want to load. And the 0, 050 values have been loaded for us. So that's great. That's a nice, simple way of of doing this. But what if we want this to be a bit more automatic? What if we don't want to have the user to have to save and load? Because they might forget, um, or we might just want every property change to be saved and stored for the next cycle. Well, the way to do that might be to, instead of having uh, buttons, to use events. So we will now save this as properties auto. And this time what we'll do is we'll have an event component property. To add the event you just double click on the property, you double click on add new and it creates a, a macro with the right name the right parameters, the right returns, you can just click OK, OK and edit. And there we have our property event tied to a macro. So whenever a property value changes, this macro will be called. Now what we probably want to do is create a new hidden property um, just to work around a bit of a pitfall here. So I'm going to create a new property and I'm going to call this um, loading. I'm going to set it to a true or false and the variable will be loading. And I'm going to untick visible so the user won't see this property. You can hear, see here we have, a, we have no icon here and it's greyed out. That's because uh, it's set to be invisible. So in our event property macro we'll have a decision which is if loading equals zero if loading if we're not loading then save so whenever these values change save what we probably want to do is get rid of our dialogues so for the property load save component property manager turn off our dialogues to warn us because it's going to happen automatically. And then in our main, we can get rid of these, we can get rid of these, and what we can have here is a built in function component property set value. The handle is this, 
uh, which basically refers to the root of this, um, basically the panel. The property inside quotes would be loading. The value would be yes, or one, because we're about to do a load. We would then call the load function, which basically writes to the properties. And so what we don't want is to the, for the save to be happening while we're actively loading. I would then include a short delay, and that just allows time for the file to be closed uh, before the function tries to go in and, and save any new settings. Let's have a short delay of say 100 milliseconds and then we have another um, built-in function of component property set value and this time we set loading back to zero. And so what should happen now is we can run this and it runs fine and we can change this value so this time I'll set it to 150 and now if I stop this and reload it let's see what happens So it's remembered 0 and 150. Okay, let's try that again. Let's try it as 50 and 200. We won't save this. We've just changed the property values and now we'll reload. No, we don't want to save changes. So it's reopened with the values 0 and 150. And when we run the project, automatically jumps back to the last settings that we used in the program. I hope this has been useful. I've been Ben Rowland and this has been Flukkad version 9.